Hi guys, welcome back to Laura MATV. As we all know, the Igbo region of Nigeria is one region with so many wealthy men and women. They include both the old and the young. And these men and women engage in various businesses that help them generate massive wealth. While there are other Igbo billionaires everyone knows about, this video focuses on the silent Igbo billionaires people barely know. In this video, we bring to you 10 silent Igbo billionaires you have probably never heard about. But before we begin if you're new to our channel you're highly welcome to laura emmy tv and please do well to hit on that subscribe button and do not forget to turn on the notification bell so you can always stay notified and updated whenever we upload a new video we upload very interesting contents every day without further ado let's get right back into our rating and number one on our list is chief dr fabian nwara Chief Dr. Fabian Nwora is a silent Nigerian-born multi-billionaire and the owner of EFA Properties Limited. Nwora hails from Nnewi's South Local Government area of Anambra State and he is one of Nnewi's most humble and underground billionaires. You could hardly tell how rich this man is. But he is the king of property investments in the city of Abuja with first-class estates scattered across the city and some other cities in Nigeria. Hence, he is nicknamed which means loud gun because when he makes the shots, the ground shakes. Amongst his fast rising conglomerates include Wara Group of Companies, Syndicate Construction and Commercial Co Limited, FA Properties Limited, a company that single handedly built over 5,000 housing units under the mass housing project initiated by the government of Olusegun Obasanjo. Others include FA Petroleum, Queen's Construction and Commercial Co Limited, Fecton and Sons International Limited, Top Rank Hotels Limited, a three star hotel with its branches in Abuja, Enugu, and Onicha, and First Generation Mortgage Bank, which secured national housing fund loans for over 2,241 persons. He is worth over $200 million. And second on our list is Ifanyi Odi. Ifanyi Chukuma Odi is an Igbo businessman and a philanthropist with vast experience in building and managing businesses across various sectors. He is the CEO and founder of Orange Global Group with subsidiary companies like Orange Global Manufacturing, Orange Haulage and Logistics, and Purity Agro Allied Limited. He is also the president and CEO of Ultimus Holdings, with subsidiary companies like Ultimus Construction, Ultimus Properties, and Ultimus Global Integrated. His investment portfolio spans industries like manufacturing, logistics, construction, real estate, healthcare, trade and services and among, amongst others. Odi was elected a 2003 gubernatorial candidate of the People's Democratic Party in Ebony State but he lost in the election. His net worth is estimated to be $150 million. And third on our list is Polo Okuye. Polo Okuye is the founder and the CEO of Upfront and Personal Global Management, One Africa Global Management, and One Africa Music Fest. He is a Nigerian music promoter, talent manager, record executive, and a businessman. The 55 years old is the owner of one of the biggest cultural export brand, which is his brand called one africa music fest he is worth a hundred and fifty million dollars and fourth on our list is henry ike Chief Henry Ike is a popular Igbo business tycoon and billionaire, and he is also friend with Obi Kubana and Imani. He hails from Uli in Anambra State. Although coming from a poor background, he built his world from the scratch, 
Currently, he is the CEO of Mamerit International Limited and the founder of the NGO Ifinala Ife Foundation and he is worth $40 million. And fifth on our list is Escobar Smith. Escobar Smith is a business mogul from Umwaha in Abia State, known as Kingsley Ekeoba. He is a Nigerian billionaire and the CEO of Capitalist and Wealth Management, chairman of Mukron's group of companies, amongst others. His business focus is on real estate, agriculture, and transportation. He is also the CEO of Mosin Developers and Properties Limited. He is worth $30 million. And at the sixth spot is Gaus Chuboise. Gaus Chuboise is another Igbo billionaire based in Miami in the United States of America. He's a crypto influencer and real estate investor who started buying Bitcoin in 2011 and has now amassed much wealth through Bitcoin. He is popularly called the Bitcoin chief, although he hails from Enugu State, but he was born in Etsum local government area in Cross River State, Nigeria. Before venturing into real estate and crypto, he tried his hands at music, but it did not last long. Currently, he is the owner of Tatcoin Digital Currency, the CEO of Abit Mobile Applications Limited, and Converse Music, a record label that manages upcoming singers. He is worth $25 million. And at the seventh spot is Chubozo Maduboko. Chubozo Maduboko, popularly known as Man Like Chico, is another Igbo billionaire with a net worth of $10 million. He is the son of Chief Chinedu Benson Maduboko, the CEO of the Chico Group. He hails from Adazi Ani in Anaucha local government area of Anambra State. Man Like Chico is the director of the Chico Group, a conglomerate that manufactures and distributes roofing, insulation, sheeting, and related materials. He is also the CEO of Royal Diamond Investments Limited and he is worth $10 million. And at the eighth spot is Larry Gaga. Larry Gaga is a Nigerian musician, record artist, music producer, and businessman. The record label executive has been in the forefront of several great music that has come out of the country. Although Larry Gaga was interested in music early on, he posted after his university education to pursue entrepreneurship. Later, he handed over his businesses to trusted hands and returned to music. His comeback in music started with his position as a general manager of YSG Entertainment in 2012. He later set up his own company called Gaga Music and has been running it ever since. And Larry Gaga is worth $8 million. And at the ninth spot is Linus Williams. Linus Williams, also known as the B-Lord, is a young Igbo billionaire who acquired his wealth through cryptocurrency and entrepreneurship. The 24 years old hails from Umuji Ebenebe Oka in Anambra State. He is a Bitcoin trader, coach, and a crypto entrepreneur who owns his own blockchain business. He owns the B-Lord group of companies with subsidiaries like the B-Lord Bitcoin, B-Lord Gadget Store, B Lord Laws Restore and B Lord Automobiles. And at the 10th spot is Owumelu Valentine. Owumelu Valentine is a 40 years old Igbo billionaire called Instigator PH. He is he's a close friend of Obi Kubana, man like Chico, amongst other young rich millionaires. He resides in Port City 
and he is the CEO of Seekena Oil and Gas Limited. I've seen a lot of change. 